we know that we have large corporate users and we know that we have large SIs that could work very effectively with our, with our systems and could, could get projects out very fast because they had put in the time and effort to build that library to, use, to be used. But that's their own library. What we provide now out of the box is the ability for small and medium-sized integrators to do the same work um, uh, without the effort to be put up front to building their standards. They can take our standards and start developing a project and get real results. The, the disadvantage of not being able to scale is basically that every, every form factor requires a, a new application that you would have to build from scratch and where you have to redesign your content from scratch as well because it doesn't scale properly into that new form factor. And that's something that we have faced in the past and that we don't face now anymore with this new uh, visualization product called InTouchOmni. We basically abstracted the way uh, how, you, how you build um, for a different form factor in the sense that it's very easy to, to accommodate a different uh, shape change to a different form factor like a mobile phone or a tablet uh, and you don't have to re-engineer the application. You can almost look at that like what you do with web development. When you develop a web page, you basically make it uh, scalable across any, any form factor. And that's the type of um, methodologies and, and um, things that we put in place into the system so you can use that and leverage that to build your applications. So once you define your assets, you can reuse these assets throughout your application. And, and you can actually say, I'm going to have this particular shape which addresses all these assets, all typical valves or typical pumps. Or you can just go to a complete different section in your plan and reuse these objects um, for the next project. The, the applications that we, that we can have in the system can bring things in like, uh, for example, um, you can have a camera application or a mapping application or, or a chat, chat application. These are delivered by our ecosystem. So our ecosystem delivers um, applications that add content and context to your, to your system. Um, the key here is that you could do this before with previous products and with other products. It always takes a certain amount of effort to do that. With, with this particular product, um, with InTouch OMI, you can put them together and without any scripting it will work because the apps have something that is called context and they share context. So if you have, this is my selected asset, I'm selecting something and I want to see um, on the map a location and an associated camera with it. All you need to do is click on it and it works. Uh, so it's, it's basically integrated out of the box. Because we use the latest, the latest APIs that were available on Windows 10, we, we have the most native implementation. Um, um, so that means that if you're on a form factor like a tablet or a phone, you can actually use two finger swipes or three finger swipes to bring menus in or two finger interactions with pan and zoom and clutter and declutter. So I, I think what we have implemented is best in class because it's very responsive, it redraws very fast and it feels, at that point it feels very native to the device that you're on. On the moment you don't have those gestures and you're on a tablet, it's a subpar experience because every other app on that, on that particular tablet will not behave that way, right? So it's using the, the native touch interactions with that device. The, the flexibility really comes in that A, the application can morph into any form factor without any significant redevelopment. Number two, the, the, the use of apps and the ability to use apps that are already pre-integrated with the system saves me a lot of scripting. Um, and the third one is really these um, uh, objects that we have that, are, that, rep that represent assets and that can, that can have so many, many shapes. For example, our valve object has three million combinations. So for a small or medium SI that would have to write their own standards to take the one from us that is best in class and has three million options, there is almost no possibility for them or it would be very difficult for them to develop their own, right? They would have to spend months of engineering to develop that. So now they can just take that out of the box and use it. Thank you.